So we're looking at the summary for investigation 2.3. Fresh foods, I was just going to remind my son right now that anything he says or sings is going to show up on the video. It's okay. Uh, fresh foods has oranges on sale for at $10, or 10 oranges for $2. For each part, find the unit rate. Be sure to label your answers with the proper units. All right, so what is the cost per orange? And we talked uh, at great length that per, the word per means divide. So we are doing cost divided by orange, which means $2 divided by 10. So that means it's one fifth. And one fifth is equal to 20 cents. So every orange is worth 20 cents. It's 20 cents per orange. Uh, how many oranges can you buy for one dollar? Well, this is asking um, oranges per dollar. So we're going to flip it. We're going to have 10 oranges for two dollars. So that means for one dollar you can get five oranges. Copy and complete the table below. Well, if each orange is worth well, like just we already know that's five, right? So one orange is twenty cents. We already learned that. Twenty oranges is going to be twenty cents times uh, twenty. Or we could do twenty is two groups of ten, so that's going to be four dollars because each group of ten is two dollars. Uh, Eleven. This is going to make more sense to use our unit rate. So twenty cents per orange times eleven oranges. That's 111 is going to be 2.2. So that's going to be $2.20. Finally, we're going to work backwards. We know that, I'm going to use an equation here, so watch out. We know that your cost is going to be equal to 20 cents times the number of oranges. And that's an O. So, yes, I do love equations. And so if I know our cost is $2.60, and that's equal to point two times the number of oranges. What's the opposite of multiplying by point two? Dividing. Say it a little bit louder, please. Dividing by point two. There we go. <laughs> so we have 2.6 divided by point two, and that's 13 oranges. Why you buy just 13 oranges? I don't know. They're so delicious, you might as well get 20. You don't want 20 oranges? All right. Afraid, afraid you, your skin might turn orange? Okay. All right. So, I'm trying to withhold a, a joke that I'm dying to say. What's your joke? I'm not going to tell you because it's not politically appropriate for today. Is it Donald Trump's hair? It has nothing to do with uh, that individual. <laughs> <laughs> so, is that uh, hey, hey, hey. So, <laughs> how does finding a unit rate help you answer the questions such as the ones below? How can you. How, can, uh, how many oranges can you buy for $5? Well, you know for $1, you can get five oranges, so then you can use your proportional reasoning. If you have one over five, that's going to equal five over something, and well, you multiply by five, so that's 25 oranges. Um, how much does 25 or That's the same question. Just ask the opposite way. All right, the equation n equals 5c. So the n is the number of oranges. So the number of oranges equals five times the cost. Five oranges times the cost. All right. So what does the equation tell you about the relationship between the number of oranges and the cost of the oranges? Well, that means that for every one dollar, you get five oranges. So this is saying that it's a, the unit rate, or the constant of proportionality, also called slope, is five oranges for one dollar. And that's what this tells you about. What is another equation relating the same two variables? Well, obviously, if I have n is equal to 5c, what's the opposite of multiplying c by 5? Dividing, by Dividing c by 5. So we're going to divide both sides by 5, divide by 5. I know this is not crazy hard. But what's another way of saying n over 5? What's another way of saying divided by 5? How, what would you multiply to get the same answer as dividing by 5? Yes, we're by talking about by multiplying by? 
No, 0.5, that's 1 half. The same thing as dividing by 5 is multiplying by 1 fifth. Oh, yeah, I know. Oh, yeah, I know that. Okay. And so that means you get, so you're, you're multiplying the number of oranges times 1 fifth is equal to your cost. In other words, your constant of proportionality in here is 1 fifth or 0.2. So that means for every orange, you're going to have to pay 1 fifth of a dollar or 20 cents. Identify the two number uh, unit rates from these equations. Explain how you found the unit rates. What information? I think I talked about that already. Uh, how does the constant of proportionality relate to the unit rate? The constant of proportionality is the unit rate, for crying out loud. Now graph the equations from question 5 on two coordinate planes. Show values of n from 1 to 20. Um, Here's, here's what I want. Here's what I want. Um, I'm not going to graph the whole thing. On your homework from last night, I noticed a large number of people did not label the axes. Number of oranges. This is cost in dollars. And so, I'm, I'm obviously committing the cardinal sin of not having graph paper. I'm sorry about that. So there's $1, $2, $3. And so 4, 5. So here we go. And so when they're asking about the constant of proportionality, I can see that from here to here, if I make a little slope triangle, I have a difference of three oranges. And over those three oranges, I have an increase in cost of 60 cents. Hmm, that's very interesting. And that's how I could use my graph to find my unit rate. If I got three oranges for 60 cents, then how many oranges did I get for one cent? Sorry, how many oranges did I get for, how many cents did each orange catch? I'm getting it confused. My son's laughing at me. So obviously you have 0.6 divided by three, which is 0.2. All right. How can you use the graph to find the constant of proportionality? The constant of proportionality is the unit rate, folks. All right. So that is problem A.